Abraham Pig here to talk about the Brady Safe Key Lock. Now, a number of folks uh, have done videos on these before, including Charles Builds Crap and Matthew here on YouTube and Pin Mechanics on Reddit. There's a couple of topics I haven't seen them cover. Uh, among them, the way I used to tension these, uh, the binding order of these locks, and the fact that there's two different kinds. Everyone I've seen do a video has done one on the, one of these plastic ones, but these aluminum bodied ones are different. So, let's start talking about tension in this kit that I got from Banggood that I think a lot of y'all have seen. There are a couple of tensioners that are 122 thousandths in this direction and they are 35 and 70 thousandths respectively in this direction and both of these can be used as well as if you have this uh, multi-pick tool you can use this one um, I'm gonna start with this one on the blue lock yeah the way this goes in since you won't be able to see it on camera um, is you put the tensioner in uh, across the key slot uh, in between some of the pins and you try to wedge it in there. The ones from the Chinese kit actually wedge perfectly and give you very good control of the core. And this multi-pick one um, does almost as well. It flops around a little bit. It's still good enough to work. Um, the binding order on all four of the locks that I've picked has been exactly the same. So first the uh, pins here and here will bind. Once that you've set them, you, you'll get a very slight false set. Then these two will bind, and then finally these two. So let's show that. Okay. Those first two are done. Middle ones are done. And the last pair, and we're open. Uh, the aluminum body locks are non-key retaining, so I can just snap it back to being locked. Uh, we'll gut this in a minute. And let's look at this one. I'm going to use the 70,000 thickness one. Wedge it in the same way. It's not going in quite right. Let's try the thinner one then. There we go. All right, wedge it in there really well. And same deal. Okay, and we have an open on these red ones. Sometimes you have to pick it multiple times because it will get stuck in intermediate positions. And this one is key retaining, so I can't just turn it back. Um, even if I close the shackle, I still have to pick it backwards, but I don't want to do that right now because I've never been able to pick it all the way closed. This is as far as I can get it, and you can see on this other lock. Um, I can pick them forward again from this place, but I've only been able to uh, close them again by disassembling them and reassembling them using the key. So. Let's talk about gutting. The aluminum, oops, sorry, took it out of frame. The aluminum bodied one uh, takes a 330 seconds hex key. There we go. Um, here's the rubber guard and then the whole lock mechanism can come out in one piece like this. There's just an actuator in there. Uh, the red one 
takes a 330 seconds Allen key Okay, and you can see one of the plastic ball bearings has fallen out of this one because they are just floating free in the body. Um, unlike on the aluminum bodied ones where they are retained by the actuator mechanism. And the locking core is quite similar and is seated in here. There's also the same uh, rubber guard in the front. Okay. So this one is in an intermediate sleeve, and to get it out of there, the easiest way is to use the key. So turn it and then push it out. Uh, these go quite easily by removing the sidebars. And then I like to count the pins starting from this nub and going clockwise, but it's completely arbitrary. Oh, sorry. You have to remove the little tail cap here first before you can push the pins out. You can see that the cores are the same casting, but the tail caps are a different size on here. And as soon as you do that, you take it off the springs will all try to come out so we can pull them. They're identical. Okay, let's do this guy with a slightly bigger tail cap, and um, there's a spring on the one in the plastic bodied ones that actually pushes the core forward and the key pushes it back. The aluminum bodied ones do not have that feature. And this is quite greasy. This has been opened a couple of times, but there's still a ton of grease in here. When you open them the first time, you need to have like a rag uh, to absorb a lubrication. All right, so, oops, one spring flew away. There goes. Okay. And in here, they're completely identical from this point. So same two sidebars in the plastic bodied one. Oh, come on. And uh, getting the pins out you need something to push them out with, like a pick. So, number one. Two. Stack the ones from this one on top of them. Come on, there we go. As you can see, they're still quite greasy and they're sticking to my fingers. is two Brady safe keys picked and gutted as you can hopefully see on the pinning tray here. The pins are just little slider wafers with the same exact cut of different depths and they actually have their little depth number step stamped on each one of them. And here's the oops, come on. Well try to show the sidebar profile a little bit better. Alright, thank you very much.